KFC PDQ. That's the only alphabet I know. <laughs> How are y'all today? I am fantastic. So today I have a brand new food box ready to go for y'all, okay? It is KFC versus PDQ. Of course, all of y'all know what KFC is. It is very famous, very iconic. Some of y'all probably don't know what PDQ is. I think it's more of like a rising star kind of restaurant, like Lady Gaga at the beginning of A Star Is Born. KFC is Lady Gaga at the end, with tears coming out her eyes, aka Grease. PDQ is like a chicken place, like a Chick-fil-A or a KFC or any of those, and that's all I know about it. <laughs> I'm not even sure what PDQ stands for. Um, I have eaten there twice. The first time was years ago, and I think I had chicken tenders, but I don't even like slightly remember what they taste like at all. But the second time was like last month, and I had their like healthy bowl thing, and it was actually pretty good. So I'm pumped to see which gobble gobble chicken restaurant wins the foon baton. <laughs> that was a quick version. <laughs> that was the remix. Just a disclaimer, this is not sponsored by either restaurant or anything else. All the opinions are my own and if you disagree with me that's on you girl I can only speak for myself so anyways there are eight rounds in today's video and basically if you don't know how food battle works I get very similar items from very similar restaurants and I compare them in little rounds like chicken wing versus chicken wing the restaurant that wins that round gets a point and the restaurant with the most points by the end of the video wins the food so let's start y'all let's shake our chicken breasts <laughs> the rounds are chicken tenders, chicken nuggets, chicken sandwiches, bowls, fries, coleslaw, extra sides, and dessert. So this is going to be a fun, very chicken filled video. Regina? Regina's eating turds. Regina, stop! <laughs> Here's a little secret, y'all. My dog eats her own caca and her brother's caca. She's a caca queen. She sees me. Regina, stop it. Drop it. Oh, it's already swallowed, okay. Let me tell y'all, when she sees me coming about to take away that turd from her, she swallows it so fast. I get worried, I'm like, don't choke on the caca, please. Anyways, let's unbox all the food right now, okay? So, let me zoom in a bit so y'all can see a little bit better. Here are the chicken strips, looks very good. I also got the potato wedges for the um, fries round. Everything looks very crispy, very fried, but surprisingly not greasy. Okay, and they threw in a biscuit in there as well well now this must be the chicken sandwich i did get the crispy kernel sandwich i still don't know why it's pronounced kernel it says colonel okay colonel looks very good i did try this like last last month i think and it slayed me but i'm ready to try it again Ooh. now here's the coleslaw i did throw in a coleslaw round i know that a lot of y'all love it i personally don't like it that much Smells like a vinegar asshole. I'm doing this for y'all so I can see which one has the better slow, okay? Regina always tries to come for her big brother and he's so gentle with her, but she goes crazy. Regina, Regina, calm down, calm down. They're listening to kids bump. <laughs> Here's the mashed potatoes and gravy. Y'all know KFC gravy is literally my favorite thing on planet Earth. Now for the chicken nugget round, I did get um, KFC's popcorn chicken. I do love this packaging. Ooh. Smells real good, bitch. Now for the bowl round, I got the KFC Famous Bowl, which is like mashed potatoes, corn, cheese, gravy, and popcorn chicken. Ooh, that looks actually delicious today. Regina! She's running so fast, I'm scared. She's gonna break the sound barrier. Regina, you sound like a bird, stop. Sometimes this can look disgusting, but today it really does look good, so I'm excited for that. Now for dessert, I did also get the cookies. There was only an option to get like a 10 pack or something like that, so they just gave me tons of packaged cookies. I thought they would come in like a cute little container, but I guess not, that's fine. There's a lot of them, guys, so. Exciting! They got the whole order right. I'm so proud of KFC. You did that, bitch. Now it's time to look at PDQ. I'm ready. So for the dessert round, I did get an Oreo milkshake. This is gonna go up against KFC's cookies. Um, PDQ um didn't really have any other desserts on their menu besides milkshakes. So I was like, okay, let's just go with that. It looks good. It's very big and very heavy. So okay, so these are the tater tots. They look so good. I got these um for my extra side round and they're going up against KFC's mashed potatoes. What is this? Well, this is a big box, okay. Oh, okay, so this is the sandwich. This is their crispy chicken sandwich. It looks very good. It smells really 
fresh and pickly. I love pickles. Ooh, let me snatch one now. Mm. It's very odd they put cherry tomatoes on the sandwich. Okay. <laughs> Y'all know I'm not a fan of those, but I guess it's something different, right? Now here are their fries. Wow, I love this packaging. This is adorable. It's a pretty good portion and they look a lot like uh, McDonald's fries. I don't think I've had their fries before. Let me just say, um, everything did come separately. Like, you have to get the sides separately. They cost extra, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Now, this is the coleslaw. I think it's honey mustard coleslaw, which sounds interesting. It smells just like normal coleslaw to me, but we'll see if it's better. This bag is so soggy, it's literally falling apart. Now, here are, um, okay, so these are the chicken strips. This is not the biggest portion, but like, Chick-fil-A does the same thing, but then again, they have amazing chicken. Let's see if this is as good as theirs because this portion is not doing it for me all. And then last but not least, I got their bowl, which is huge. I think I actually asked for um, grilled chicken, but they put the fried chicken on it, which is like whatever. Um, but anyways, this is their, I think, Cali bowl or um, something like that. It has things like guacamole, rice, black beans, broccoli, um, corn. It looks big. I've actually had it before. <laughs> it was pretty good, but I'm excited to try it again. Now here... Wait, they give me double tater tots. Okay, that's fine with me. As long as an item isn't missing and that's just like an extra thing, I'm fine with that. And then here are the chicken nuggets. Um, they do look a lot like Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets as well. This portion is pretty good. I'm not mad at it. Okay, y'all, they got the whole order correct uh, besides the extra tater tots, which is great. So, yay! It is time for the food. I'm gonna set up the food, get my thumbnail, get close-ups of every item, and then we shall start tasting Everything! Okay, so let's first try the bowls. Air gets in the crack, in the crack, right in my veg. Right between my two fat lips, I say a prayer for the pubic. So first things first, let's look at prices, okay? So, the famous bowl fill-up from KFC comes with a cookie and a medium drink. It was $5 flat on Uber Eats. I think that's a very fair price. This looks small, but it is so heavy, it's like, a weight, literally. The grilled Cali bowl from PDQ was $9.69. So it's almost double the price. It is bigger, but it's still double the price, bitch. Okay, let's first try KFC's, which I have not had in a long time. Like I said before, it has mashed potatoes, gravy, corn, cheese, and popcorn chicken. I'm gonna make sure I get everything in one bite. There we go, gravy, everything. Okay, let's try KFC. Mm -hmm. So the popcorn chicken is very good, very crispy. It does not taste like the realest chicken ever, but it gets the job done, you know, and it's very salty. Almost a little too salty, but not quite there, so it's okay. The potatoes taste like instant mashed potatoes, but the corn is good. Everything goes great together. Um, I really like this. It does taste processed, but at the same time, it's only $5 and it's filling and it's good, so... I love that. Now let's try PDQ's bowl. So I'm just gonna kind of mix it all up because it is pretty separated. It has guacamole, like I said before, black beans, rice, um, a good amount of chicken tenders on it, corn, broccoli, all that. So I'm gonna try to get everything into one bite. Let's try it. All the ingredients taste very real. Like the guacamole tastes real, beans, corn, rice, everything tastes very real. But it all does kind of taste simple. Like just very bare ingredients being thrown together with no cohesive taste holding them together. You get me? I um, couldn't even taste the chicken, so I am nervous to try the chicken by itself in the other rounds because I couldn't even taste it, honestly. It wasn't bad, but at the same time, I'm not like, wow, this is so flavorful. I'm gonna have to say, guys, the winner of the bowl round is... <laughs> KFC has one point, PDQ has zero points, and we have seven rounds left. Let's go. Next up, let's do dessert. You broke my heart like a little piece of dried up shit. Oh, now we're done, and I know I have to move on, but I can't because I'm dried up shit. 
Oh, wasn't that just satisfying? Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> 12 chocolate chip cookies from KFC was $3.99. That's not bad, that's about 33 or 33 point something cents per cookie, I think, right? No, yes, yes, yes. And the Oreo shake from PDQ was $5.49. So <laughs> this shake costed more than 12 of these cookies. 12! Damn, PDQ has some snazzy ass, fancy ass prices, okay? Let's first try KFC's cookies. Mmm. Hmm. So at first they taste like a good fresh cookie, but then the more you chew them, the more they taste like a processed store-bought cookie. Honestly, like of course chocolate chip cookies cannot be bad. It's still good. It's still decent, but I do expect some kind of like you know like a little home cook cookie. You know, it's KFC. These come straight from Kentucky. Oh hi. Then again, they are very cheap. I just expect them to be a little bit better, but they're not bad. Okay, there's kind of. Store-bought tasting. Now let's try PDQ's milkshake. Let's mix it up a little bit. It got kind of separated there. It does have whipped cream at the top. And a maraschino cherry. Ma cherry. Oh, ma Oh, oh. Oh, si boko. There's real chunks of Oreos in there, guys. That's why the straw is so thick. There's like full chunks of Oreos. I did not see that coming. That is actually delicious. It tastes like a real all-American milkshake from a diner, you know? It tastes really, really, really fresh and good and very dairy-filled. This would give me diarrhea if I finished the whole thing right now. Ooh, girl! My anus would get so chapped. We would need some EOS, honestly. Don't put EOS on your asshole, <laughs> it was a joke. <laughs> so I think the winner of the dessert round is PDQ. By the way, what does PDQ stand for? P, P, Penis, D, D, Dick, Queep? No, that can't be. What does PDQ stand for? People dedicated to quality. Wow, I was far off. <laughs> wow, we love that. We love quality. Okay, next up, let's do the chicken nugget round. I hate you, you little chicken shit. Smell like your armpit. You'll never taste my tea get. I hate you, you cheating douchebag. And did I mention? The large popcorn nuggets from KFC was $3.99, not bad at all. And PDQ's 12-piece nuggets were $7.89. Oof. Girl, PDQ, people dedicated to coin. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. Maybe if it's like Chick-fil-A in the sense that the quality is so good that it's worth it, it'll be worth it. You get me? Let's first try um, the popcorn chicken from KFC. I had it in the bowl before, but... I didn't have it by itself yet today, so. Mm. Like I said before, they are salty, but not too salty, but they're borderlining it, okay? Like, they're close. The chicken inside tastes good. It has a good, very black peppery flavor to it, which I love. The breading is a bit thick, though. If it was a little bit thinner, I think these would actually be perfect. So, pretty damn good. Okay, let's try PDQ's chicken nuggets. Mmm. So the quality is great. People dedicated to quality, that's legit, okay? Very high quality chicken, but they should change their name to PDF because they need to be people dedicated to flavor. In my opinion, this lacks a lot of flavor. They're not bad, they're just very bland. Like the texture is great, the breading is nice and thin, but still crispy. It's just really missing some kind of flavor. Like, it just tastes like kind of just like bare chicken, you know? The box says, our chicken is never frozen, no added hormones or steroids. It's food the way you want it. What's our secret sauce? Every morning we start from scratch. So bring up hand breaded tenders and homemade sauces made in house daily. Wow, we love that. That's great. But every morning I'll suggest adding to the morning routine some flavors, okay? Some spices, some sauces, something. I think the winner of the chicken nugget round is KFC. KFC has two points, PDQ has one point. Oh. <clears throat> Next up, let's do the French fry round. I'm over you. My heart will be fixed with wretched glue. And I will try the tears on my titties. 
So the fries from PDQ were $2.49, finally a good price, we love that. And then if you get the fries by themselves from KFC, it's only $1.89, so this is still somehow cheaper, wow. PDQ's fries look more like McDonald's fries and um, KFC's are more seasoned and fly up. Let's first try PDQ's fries. I'm not gonna try them with ketchup because I always say if it's a good fry, it won't need ketchup. So they taste like McDonald's fries, but a little more real, but with a little less flavor. So they're good. They have enough flavor, but just not as much as like McDonald's, you know, where it's like really salty and like greasy and like, oh. These are kind of actually more like Wendy's fries where they taste more natural, but less salty. So they're, they're good, they're good. I'm just not destroyed. Now let's try KFC's potato wedges. I haven't had these in a hot minute. I'm excited. That crunch. Usually, these slay me, but today, they just kind of taste like a grilled cheese sandwich. I don't know why. I don't know why, but they do. And they're too salty, like overly salty. Almost so much that I can't enjoy them. I don't know, they're just not that good today, wow. So I guess the winner of the fries round is people PDQ dedicated to French fries. <laughs> PDQ. PDQ has two points, KFC has two points, and we have four rounds left. Next up, let's do the chicken sandwiches. Crispy kernel sandwich was three dollars and ninety nine cents, and the crispy chicken sandwich from PDQ was five dollars and sixty nine cents. Not a bad price, PDQ. Okay, KFC sandwich has a shiny ass bun that's been halfway toasted. <laughs> Literally a very nice looking piece of titty meat mayonnaise and pickles y'all know I love Pickles especially on a chicken sandwich PDQ's comes with a more brioche looking bun a very nice looking piece of chicken cherry tomatoes pickles and lettuce no mayonnaise. Oh, yes actually and mayonnaise on the top. So let's first try PDQ's Mm, mm. In all honesty, in my opinion, it's pretty bland. The chicken is great, once again, um, great quality, everything, but it's lacking flavor, like so much. And if it's gonna be like a flavorless chicken, at least add like a spicy sauce or something onto it to make the sandwich pop and like make it interesting. This just tastes like a piece of rotisserie chicken almost. Like that's how natural it tastes, but like too natural. <laughs> Do you get me? And the veggies don't help because they're all very bland as well. Now let's try the KFC crispy kernel sandwich. Mm. Does it taste greasier? Yes. Does it taste cheaper? Yes, bitch. But does it taste better? Yes. It's very greasy. The chicken is not the best quality in my opinion. It's very salty, but it has a lot of flavor. You'd think that it wouldn't because it's like literally just a piece of chicken and uh, pickles and mayo, but it somehow packs a lot of punch and it's honestly delicious. If you want a super greasy chicken sandwich, this is for you, girl. I did not see this round going this way, but the winner of the sandwich round is KFC, KFC. Kitchen Frying Chicken. chicken. <laughs> Just kidding, it's gonna take a bad chicken, but you know, you know, okay. KFC has three points, PDQ has two points. We only have three rounds left, coleslaw, extra sides, and chicken tenders. Let's do coleslaw, let's get it over with. I'm brand new. I'm taking back my virtue too, and I will try the tears on my titties. But the honey mustard coleslaw from PDQ is two dollars and forty nine cents. Pretty good. And the coleslaw from KFC is $1.89, that's not bad. So as you can see, the uh, PDQ coleslaw has a lot more color to it because it does have honey mustard in it. Very interesting. Um, and the portion does seem to be a bit bigger and a bit heavier for sure. The KFC one is just 
whiter than my milky ass skin. I haven't had this coleslaw in a while, but when I was a kid, I hated it so much. I would always give it to my mom. I'd be like, eat it. Let's try KFCs. It's way too sweet. It's too juicy. Like it has too much fluid in it. <laughs> I, ah, I can't. It gives me the shivers. Now, recently I did have coleslaw from somewhere. Where was it? And I actually liked it. I don't remember. But this coleslaw, this ain't it. So let's try the honey mustard coleslaw from PDQ. It does not have excess liquid, which is nice. PDQ's is sweet, but not too sweet. And because of the honey mustard, it does have a potato salad vibe. And I love potato salad, girl. It's like potato salad meets coleslaw. I think it's great, actually. I would I would even go as far to order this again, guys. Boys and girlies. <laughs> so I think the obvious winner of the coleslaw round is... People dedicated to coleslaw. coleslaw. <laughs> PDQ has three points. KFC has three points. And we have two rounds left. Let's do the extra potato sides. And did I mention that you look like an areola? So we have mashed potatoes and gravy from KFC versus tater tots from PDQ. Now y'all know I have a deep love affair with both of these potato men, honestly. In the past, I have said nothing beats tater tots. And I have also said nothing beats mashed potatoes and gravy. I think I've said that. <laughs> I think. I've never compared them to each other and I'm very nervous because I feel like it's like my two loved ones fighting. Like, this is a lot. The mashed potatoes and gravy from KFC was $1.89 and the tots from PDQ was $2.49. We love that. Okay. Let's first try some of these Peter tots. I'll try all three at once. I don't care. Mmm. Mmm. I would not suggest eating three tots at once because it was kind of like dry and like a lot to chew through. But, my God, that butt was very severe, but. <laughs> but these are great tater tots. They're perfectly salted, perfectly crispy, fluffy inside. They're everything you would want in a tater tot. Everything you expect of a tater tot, you know? Why does that somehow sound sexist against tater tots? I expect you to be the perfect tater tot. They're so good. Now let's try KFC's mashed potatoes and gravy. Now, as you can see, it is almost more gravy than mashed potatoes, which I'm fine with because I have always thought that KFC's mashed potatoes suck, but the gravy turns them into a form of art. So I'm glad it is mostly gravy. Let's try it. Mm, Y'all, there is no way to describe KFC's gravy. If you haven't had it, you, you won't know what I'm talking about. It has a certain flavor that tastes like nothing ever done before, never the same, never done. It's iconic. Now, the potatoes are very watery and very processed and very powdery tasting, but it doesn't matter when the gravy's on top of it, guys. It really doesn't. I'm sorry, but I think the winner of the extra sides round is KFC. KFC. I can't. It's so good. There is no beating KFC's gravy. I thought maybe there was a possibility, but even tater tots cannot defeat them. KFC has four points. PDQ has Three? Three points, yes. And we have one round left, the chicken tenders. Just kidding, bitch. I'm still over your little dick. And I will try the tears on my titties. So, before we get into the size difference, <laughs> let's see the prices, okay? So, the three-piece tenders from PDQ was $4.99, so five bucks. And the tenders combo, which comes with five chicken strips, a side, which was the fries, a biscuit, and a medium drink, is $6.39. This is $1.30 more. And it comes with a side, a biscuit, and a drink. Are you kidding me? But y'all, if PDQ's is amazing, it will be worth it, like honestly. Let's first try KFC's. Mmm. Mmm. KFC's tenders 
are so good guys they feel like really good quality honestly they do the flavor is so strong and so good i will say it's a tiny bit too salty but other than that the flavor really pops those are amazing chicken tenders wow and the portion is massive now let's try pdq's chicken tenders Those were very sad. Wow. Just like all the rest of uh, PDQ's chicken. Great quality, but lacks so much flavor. There's a certain odd flavor, like a like an aftertaste that's like earthy. There's like an earthy aftertaste, and I'm not a fan of it. It's weird. Once again, just my opinion. Y'all might think this chicken's amazing, but damn, it lacks so much flavor. Um, the breading isn't that crispy, to be honest. I'm just very disappointed. So I think the winner of the last point and the whole episode is... KFC won with five points and PDQ got three points. I do think PDQ is a great uh, restaurant, but I will say that if chicken's gonna be your main thing, give it some flavor, okay? The quality is all there. It's great. It just needs flavor so work on that pdq okay thank you i still support you we stand let me know in the comments below what your order at kfc always is i'm very interested to hear people's orders you know what i mean like i get chicken breast with mashed potatoes all that stuff you know so let me know that's a fun little conversation moment go watch my last video what i do oh i got everything at red lobster that wasn't fish so like chicken mozzarella sticks all that stuff so go check that out it was so much fun i'll see you on the next video i love you so much Ooh, boo, boo.